Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be looking at how we can create vibrant art for print on demand using the Wombo AI Dream app. I had created a similar video a few months back, so if you would like, uh, please take a look at that uh, video as well. Let's start by opening a web browser and typing in wombo.art. This will bring you to the Wombo website and from here you will be able to get your Wombo app on Google Play or from your app store. Uh, it is very easy. Uh, you just need your email address and if you want to go for the paid version which I highly recommend as it is just $3 uh, plus uh, for the um, for monthly and uh, it is very very uh, useful. So this is the home page when you go into the app this is the home page you will see and from here you can see a lot of uh, pictures that have that are created by people like you and me okay and uh, they will share with you the featured styles the top uh, memes and uh, the community feed community feed is a place where your designs will also show up when you publish your created designs okay so um and you will be able to save your designs also and this is my personal profile page and i have all the designs that i have uh, chose uh, to save this is my workspace from here you will see a lot of different styles and uh, there is this uh, section where you can enter your prompt prompt is uh, any sentence or words that you use to actually create your ai drawing if you are using the paid version you can uh, you'll be able to see a lot of um, prompts uh, that you have recently used. These are all the prompts that I have used. Uh, if you want, you can just copy and try it out. Okay, and uh, there is also a section where you can input your image. Uh, this section is uh, very useful in that, you know, like if you are, uh, uh, if you like a certain picture and uh, you want to create something similar, so you can actually input that picture and uh, just type create and you will be able to see it come to life okay just uh, merely enter a prompt and then uh, give a input picture okay uh, this is uh, one of the recent uh, prompts that I have used okay and uh, you can see uh, how uh, it has actually come up with the four choices from here I have the I have the option to save it or to publish it okay i can uh, save it or i can just click on it and uh, make more variations of it uh, variations in the sen sense that you know if uh, if you have been using wombo you or any other ai app you will see that sometimes the faces are like uh, not uh, properly formed sometimes the head is chopped off and stuff like that so if you like a picture that uh, the elements are something to your liking, what you can do is uh, you can just choose that picture and then make variations of it. So you will be able to see that you no, know, like as uh, it creates um, three more variations of your original image, you will be able to see that you no, know, like there are certain changes, but uh, the overall element remains the same. Sometimes uh, the features get gets corrected. Sometimes it gets changed. So you'll be able to see which one uh, is to your liking. So you can create as many variations as you want. You can uh, save the variations. You can finalize and publish it. Uh, okay, you can do a lot of things with it. If, uh, for example, you are happy with one of the results, but you don't like the style, you want to change the style, what you can do is you can save the image. You can uh, use the input image function that I have uh, shown you earlier in the workspace. Just upload that picture and from there you choose the style and the prompt and from there you'll be able to you to get the similar picture but with the different style effects this is very 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 useful I will show them to you uh, in just uh, in just a moment okay so these are all the different variations we have for Halloween scary cat scat, <laughs> scary cat witch okay I'm just going to upload this picture and I want to try a different style okay so this is the picture. You can choose whether you want a weak, a normal, or a strong, um, uh, how do you say, influence. Okay, so depending on your strength, it, strength of influence, it will show you the pictures accordingly. Now you can see that I have applied a different set of styles and uh, you can see the picture remains the same, but uh, some of the elements are different.
let's try another variation this is another style every time you're given four choices and that is uh, amazing you can actually choose to save all four uh, from different styles you can save multiple variations and work with it and if you have other softwares you can actually mix and match you know it is actually to your it is left to your imagination what you can do okay let's try this one this is more colorful let's see what colors it adds I can see the pumpkins are a little bit more colorful over here and there are a little bit more purple and the neon lights variations coming in for this style yeah so different styles uh, will give you different results okay depending on the influence and depending on your prompts okay if you don't want to give an input you just want to use the same prompt but with a different style you'll see that it will give you an entirely different result okay see what happens with the same prompt a different style you are getting a completely different variation of images okay let's try another one without any input image or influence the same prompt I'm using it's entirely different so Wombo uh, app is actually very very useful and uh, for print on demand it is a blessing I would say you can actually create a lot of original pictures and uh, you'll be able to see that uh, you are spoil for choices actually sometimes i can uh, no like waste a lot of time doing this but uh, it is worth every minute of my time i believe because i get lots of amazing amazing images and i try to get uh, uh, and i'm learning a lot about the keywords what kind of keywords uh, will give me what kind of results and so on it is a very fascinating uh, experience a very fascinating uh, procedure that i follow the the research itself is very very fascinating so if you are keen on it i would urge you to get the paid version of this it is only three dollars plus uh, per month and it's amazing actually all right so uh, you can play around with it and uh, try different memes is actually something that i don't understand but uh, it is a fairly new feature uh it uh, it actually gives you a, a four variations of memes but i don't really understand uh, the the purpose of it it gives you a few a uh, few pictures but then uh, you know, the side pictures are not usually cut off so yeah it depends uh, if you're looking to create something like this maybe you can try the meme meme styles okay uh i personally like uh, the ink and the line art uh, they are very very um I, I would say it's very to the point always gets the results that i want you know I, it has surpasses my expectations actually so you can see uh see this is amazing it is actually true to the prompt you know whatever prompt i have given it is exactly what i wanted yeah so you can actually use this image maybe create the, the create with another style which is the ink one and uh, you will get something similar but uh, you know it will be um it will just be amazing you have to just have to try it out okay all these are really good initially the hat was a bit cut off but this one looks really cool i'm going to save all of these for every style you can make as many variations as you want God, these cats look really scary but they look really cute as well okay this is another one the line art one it will, it will it will also give me a lot of uh, cool images see it is so cute really really nice okay, here i'm just trying out different different prompts and different styles over here no the same prompts but different styles see this is the comic version and a uh, uh, completely different style wow this is amazing yeah this could actually make a great background or a book cover wow it's very very nice let me try making i don't like the head of this one maybe i can try making a variation and see what happens okay the cat the hat is looking 
crooked in all the pictures yeah looks nice though but let's see i'm going to finalize this when you finalize you'll be able to share your work you can publish it it will go to the community feed also you will be able to get a video version of your file it will show you how you actually came up with this image it is a very nice process you can see this maybe you can share it on a social media it'll be great it'll be very very nice you can download it and uh, share it okay i'm going to publish this it will go to your uh, profile uh, profile page and uh, after that uh, it will come to the community feed as well yeah it will come here the community feed maybe a little later it's not here yet maybe later it will come what you can do is if you like this image you can try out the style or you can share this image also you can save this image and then use the input image and then create your own uh, uh, prompts and then try to create something similar one thing i don't uh, like about wombo is that it's very hard to get the prompts out you know the the prompts that they are using it sometimes it's not there sometimes it's very minimal so i like to use something else uh, i'll show you uh, let's open a new window i'm going to type in cf spark it is a creative fabrica ai app they have it within their website so if you go there I will leave you the link below so if you go there you will be able to see that it is something similar to wombo you can put in the prompt to get the images and stuff but the very cool thing i like about this is that i can actually copy the prompts so if i go to the community feed all right i I'll just so uh, hover over any images i'll be able to see what is the exact prompt that was used to create that image and that is amazing i can just copy it they give you the option to copy and to share so copy it and then paste it over at bombo uh, from here uh, there is a limitation of how much uh, character you can you can input but then uh, all is not lost whatever you can put in you put in make sure it is it makes sense and then choose your style and then try creating it okay let's try this comic version and create and i will show you how it matches with the, the image over there Okay, so this is the picture that uh, Wombo created for me. And let me open up the reference. This is the reference picture. Okay, so you can see that it is similar. You can try out different styles in Wombo and get something similar also. So you can see that the prompt works in Wombo. So wherever you can get your prompts, it's actually a cool way to get prompts because there are so many people who are creating so many things in AI and if you like something you can use their prompts and create versions of yours and uh, okay you can make variations and see if it is actually bringing you closer to that original image of course it won't be the same it can be similar or much uh, closer the thing is that no like uh, uh, the prompt was very very long and uh, we had to cut off because of Wombo's limitations on the characters so yeah let's try another one let's try okay where did it go okay uh, maybe I'll refresh this page so that it starts loading again CF Spark is actually quite cool also I will do another video uh, just based on CF Spark but that will be later Let's try this one. It is a very minimal uh, prompt. So let's just copy this. And I'm going to put into here. All right. It is not as, ex ex uh, how do you say, exhaustive as the previous prompt. But this is very simple. And I'm going to choose something similar. Maybe I would just want to use some um, comic again. Maybe a throwback. Okay, throwback would be good. And let's see what it gives us. Oh, look at this cute pictures. Oh my God, they're so sweet. Yeah, but it is nothing, uh, nothing same, but the prompt gives you similar images. It's about an owl which has a heart-shaped body. That's pretty cool. This one I like. I can make, maybe if I make variations, let's see what I get. Oh, this is amazing. Now the heart has the owl eyes okay so this uh, i can actually make an hour long video or more uh, just 
creating different versions of different I different prompts, but uh, it's going to take way longer than uh, what <laughs> it's going to take way, way longer. So I think I'm going to end here soon. I'll just make a few more variations. You know, sometimes it's very hard to stop when you start creating these. Just want to make it better and better, so you keep clicking on uh, make variations. Uh, so you have to, you have to control yourself. Okay, I'm just going to try the input versions and maybe try a different style. Okay, let's try this one. More colorful, I guess. Okay, all right. Okay, the owls are more colorful now. Okay, let me try this one. All right oh my god these are all so cute i can just cut them out and sell them as sticker bags you know seriously very 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 nice okay i want to try okay this pixel version is very cute sometimes it works really well sometimes it doesn't work but i think for this owl it will work very nicely yeah see it looks like an embroidery version of that picture that we input it's very very cool actually very very nice all right, so uh, I hope uh, I I did justice to this video. You can see how cool this Wombo app is. So uh, try it out, have fun, and let me know how it goes. Thank you so much for watching. If you had made it this far, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.